good, my good neighbor. <laughs> there I am. <laughs> Mr. President. Mr. President, with your permission, ladies and gentlemen, I should like to read a message which has been received this morning from number 10 Downing Street from my Prime Minister, Mrs. Margaret Thatcher. I should like to send my warm congratulations to all associated with the recent recovery of satellites from space on the occasion of the presentation of the Lloyd Silver Medal for Meritorious Services. The magnificent performance of the astronauts, which many of us watched with admiration on British television, is fully worthy of this very distinguished award, and I join in saluting their achievement. It is fitting that having cooperated in so many spheres on Earth, Britain and the United States should extend their combined talent into space. Long may such a spirit of enterprise and adventure continue. Mr. President, may I, as Chairman of Lloyd's, thank you, sir, most warmly for the great honor which you do us in being willing to award Lloyd's Silver Medal for Meritorious Services to the astronauts in connection with this, the greatest feat of salvage in the long history of Lloyd's. Sir, this is a day for firsts. It is the first time the silver medal has been awarded for a salvage in space. It is the first time, sir, that the award has ever been made by anybody save the chairman of Lloyd's or a representative from Lloyd's. It is the first time that it has ever been awarded to five people simultaneously. But, Mr. President, it is not the first time that it has been awarded to a lady, but the second. And let me tell you the story. In July of 1896, there set sail from Hong Kong an iron sailing ship of 2,000 tons bound for New York, west about. The captain was blown off course by hundreds of miles and eventually decided to make course by Cape Horn rather than his originally intended course by the Cape of Good Hope. Disease decimated his crew. The boatswain and the master were swept overboard by the mountainous seas off Cape Horn, leaving alive, alone, the master and his wife. And they alone brought the ship finally to her destination in New York. But, sir, the silver medal was given to the master's wife. Now, this ship, sir, was an American ship, the T.F. Oaks. The lady, Mrs. Reed, was an American citizen. And therefore, if I may say so, Dr. Fisher is treading in patriotic steps indeed. <laughs> Sir, I believe that the daring and ingenuity of these astronauts and of NASA has been matched, their physical daring has been matched by the commercial daring and ingenuity of the underwriters of Lloyd's of London. And we look forward to continued cooperation with NASA. It is the astronaut's task to open up space for the benefit of us all. It is the underwriter's task, by the provision of insurance, to make commercially possible that which would otherwise not be commercially possible. I believe that neither of us will fail in those tasks. And, sir, before I ask you to present the medals to the astronauts on behalf of Lloyd's, I would like ourselves to ask Mr. Merritt if he would give you a medal which we have of a different sort, a sovereign, sir, taken from the other great salvage feat in Lloyd's history. When the Egypt was sunk in 1922, the gold was salved over a period of years, again by ingenuity and by daring. And I would like, sir, on behalf of Lloyd's to present this personal gift to you.
I didn't expect to be the recipient of an award in here, but I am deeply grateful, and I welcome all of you to the White House. It's a pleasure today to be the first American president to give the award, the Lloyd Silver Medal for extraordinary and meritorious effort in the rescuing and preserving of property has been awarded only five times since 1945. And today, I'm proud to give it to five American astronauts of the shuttle Discovery. Frederick Houck, Joseph Allen, David Walker, Dale Gardner, and Anna Fisher. They made history just three weeks ago when together they retrieved two satellites that had been floating useless and out of order for nine months. The Discovery astronauts worked flawlessly and with great finesse. Their salvage operation was, I think, a, a brilliant illustration of space as a workplace and space as a place where commercial possibilities exist. What they did up there not only saved two working satellites, it saved the insurer what I'm tempted to call a, a truly astronomical loss. So I'm happy today to give this award, and may I thank Lloyds for their gracious British desire to recognize and reward Yankee ingenuity, the Yankee ingenuity of their American cousins. And now, if you'll give me the awards, yeah. I'll catch. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sir. Well, congratulations and thank all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you have all made us very proud. And you've honored us greatly and honored me greatly. And I'm very proud to have my award also here for doing little, <laughs> as they did much. Thank you, sir. So, thank, thank you. Mr. President, if I, if I may take a little bit more of your time, we of the Spaceship Discovery, I believe the last time we had a chance to chat with you, we were traveling at about 17,500 miles an hour. And uh, it was very kind of you to give us of your time. Uh, we were certainly proud to be part of this very big team, uh, the NASA team, uh, the team that uh, involves the underwriters to a very great extent. Uh, we're all in the business of risk. I think in NASA we cover those risks by uh, redundancy of our systems and training very hard. Uh, and we appreciate the underwriters uh, placing their faith in us for the risks they take. Uh, when Dale and Joe were outside recovering the satellite. You may remember there was a little bit of trouble attaching one of the brackets there. And in order to get to that area, Dale had to pull some of the covering off of the satellite to try to get a better look at what the problem was. And he took that as pieces, put it in his suit, and brought it back. And here is a piece of that satellite, uh, which came from the Palapa B2, and also a patch that flew on our mission. Presented to Ronald Reagan, President of the United States of America, by the STS 51A crew members on the occasion of, of their visit to the White House. Sir? Thank you very much. I'm very proud of you. And, and we voted that we didn't think there could be a better five person crew than flew on this mission, but if we were to add a sixth, we would like the President of the United States to be an honorary member. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all very much. And I'm very pleased to be an honorary member, now that you're all back down here. <laughs> Thank you all very much. Well, it's been a great day, and thank you all very much. Thank you.